Ah, yeah! What's up, Fit Fams? Coach Rye right, right here. We're cruising. Just taking a little drive. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Taking a little drive, you guys. Uh, mix it up the scenery got to get away from the computer for a few minutes You know what I mean? What I want to talk to you guys today about though is your progress I want to tell you a little bit of how progress works and um, I think this is a mega mega big issue out here You guys in this ever proceeding to be a fast acting world that we live in where you expect things instantly when you want Wi-Fi and you want your internet to move faster when you go to Starbucks and the internet's down and the world's over because you can't load shit as fast on your phone you know that this world thrives on instantaneous results and this is a big issue because people then forget that things don't happen that way there's certain things in life you guys that are not gonna be an instant there's things in your life you can't just load the Wi-Fi on like your bodies and your careers and all these other things there's things that are going to take work that you have to put in every single day to get that result you're gonna have to take the time the effort and no matter how hard you push it, some things still have a specific amount of time they're going to take. They cannot be done faster. And that is the same thing I see happening a lot now with people and the results. We see all these fucking programs that are fake bullshit, guru shit that's out there, uh, infomercial stuff, pumping that you can get results in a week, you can get results in two weeks. What happened to this man in four weeks? He lost 38 pounds. Find that guy for me. I want to see him. I want to talk to him because I guarantee you he may have lost 48 pounds or whatever the hell the damn infomercial says, but he weighs 59 pounds more right now. There's no way you guys that you do that stuff and it lasts in the long term. So what happens when you do decide to do things the right way, you focus on things the right way and you're going to train, you're going to eat, and you're going to work for your goals in the right manner. How long does it take to get that result? It's different for everybody, but it's a hell of a lot longer than any of you want it to be. And you guys, you have to understand, you hear this term all the time, the process, and that literally comes up because people expect results instantaneously. I can't tell you how many times I hear or get messages from people that are like, Hey Ryan, I'm doing my own workout, whatever. I'm doing my own thing. I get a random DM on social media, right? It says this stuff. And uh, hey, I just tried a new macros last week and I didn't get any results. So I think I'm gonna change them again. What do you think? You guys, it's not how the hell you do it. You don't change things based on one week at a time. You don't change things based on two weeks at a time. You don't change things based on a month even at a time. Sometimes you gotta fucking buckle down. And this is a mega, mega issue because people will jump from approach to approach, coach to coach, etc., and trying to find the quickest thing. But if you're a jumper and you're jumping from program to program, you're never gonna get to the result you wanna get because basically you're never putting in enough time. What it's called, you guys, is a dabbler. Dabblers will dabble in many, many things, but they're never gonna get mastery at anything. And that's the same with your results. If you wanna jump all around, do all these different diets, do all these different programs, do all this different stuff because you're bored, it's not working fast enough, whatever it is, good for you. But I'm gonna see you in five years, 10 years down the line, you're gonna be no further along. When other people that stuck to what it took, even on the days they didn't want to, they did what it had to take to get where they wanted to be, they're gonna have what they want. And that's just the truth of it, you guys. And this doesn't even just apply to your fitness. This applies to every damn avenue of your life. But especially for the sake of this video, we're talking about programming and nutrition and training. You guys, what's the minimum amount of time you should really invest before you consider changing things? I'd say a minimum of 12 weeks, 16 weeks before you're gonna change things dramatically. You should follow a program for at least that length of time to see what it's doing for your body, see what the results are, see what's gonna happen. A lot of you don't understand that there's this window of time that's gonna be anywhere from four to 12 weeks basically where your body's gonna go through a transformational phase. And I don't mean like you're gonna shed 58 pounds like the damn TV tells you. I'm talking about a transformational phase in the sense of 
how your body's adjusting to this new environment. Let's say that you were used to sitting on the couch and now you're doing cardio, you're doing weight training. Your body has to adapt to these things, you guys. You don't just get off the couch, lift one weight and make a result. You gotta start getting used to it. Your body's gotta reinvigorate itself and figure out what the hell's going on here and how to adjust to it and then you get to the result. And you guys, all too often people are changing the approach when they're this far from the result they want. And when you change the approach, you start back over. That's what you don't get. It's another window now. We gotta wait, we gotta do this again. We gotta see this result again. We gotta let the body adjust again. And then 99% of the time, you're gonna go change that one too. So if you wanna be a dabbler, you guys, you wanna keep jumping all around, good for you. You're never going to get what you want. I'm going to tell you right now, that's the honest to God truth. You're never going to get what you want. If you want to actually get to a specific result, you guys, you need to stay consistent. You must follow whatever approach you're doing for a valid length of time with just fucking bullheaded focus. Don't consider other options. Don't look at other things. Don't look at other diets and coaches and plans and programs. Say, guess what, man? Guess what, bro? I'm gonna invest the time that it takes here to get this damn result. I'm gonna put in effort and I'm gonna see what happens. And if you do this, you guys, you get pin-headed, bull-headed, focus on a goal, you're gonna get a result. And whether or not it's the result that you want exactly, you will have to wait till the end of that cycle. And that's the fun thing about this, you guys, but I will guarantee to you that you will never get the result you want jumping from program to program, okay? So you guys take the time to focus. Don't care who you are, what you're doing. Stop changing things so damn much. Invest yourself and get a fucking result. Coach Rye is out. <laughs>